Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And today we're going to do an incredibly simple pattern called the Grey Mouse. And I thought I'd do this one uh, because it only really has two materials. You know, you think maybe it's not going to be effective, but often these simple patterns often work the best. And something else I want to bring up about this pattern is that you can do a lot of wing substitutions with it to get the uh, wing color that you need for your local river and the bait fish that are in it. For example, um, there's one spot on the Grand where I'm going to do this pattern with olive um, calftail. I think it's going to work fantastic in there. Uh, simple patterns often work the best. So let's get going and do the gray mouse and look at his exhaustive material list. Our hook today is a size 6 streamer hook and a 2 extra heavy, 3 extra long. We're going to go small today. Our thread is a black 8 odd vivas. Our body is a uni mylar. We're going to be using the silver side. And we're using gray squirrel for the wing. That's it. So let's get going. Bring your thread right to the back of the hook, just where the bend starts. Now for the mylar. Keep it underneath. And just wrap back. Now this is where the rotary vise comes in handy. I can turn the vise and see. Oh, I got a bit of fluff in there. There we go. You can actually see how you're maintaining that material on the bottom. Okay, now for the mylar. Touching turns. Oh, I got a little bit of black in there. That's going around the hook point. Now I'm going to stack the uh, squirrel tail. I'm going to leave this a little longer than the hook shank. Now when you're doing squirrel tail, it's slippery, so come in, make your first wrap, grab only about half the hairs. And then wrap down the rest. Now, you notice how they're going down around the body? Let me show you how to get rid of that. I'll bring my thread to the back of the head. I'm going to pull all the fibers up and come around. And then loop over. And that will bring most of them to the top. And if you want to have to do it again, And if you then one loose wrap just to hold everything in place. And then we'll whip finish. Now you see how I've made the head stand up just a little bit. I'm showing you that as a stylistic point. That's not how I normally tie my flies. I like my wings laying a little flatter than that. But it is a way to get some separation between the body and the wing when you want to do that for stylistic reasons. And now for some head cement. There we go, the gray mouse. Now, if you wanted to make sure that wing stays really durable, another thing you can do is use a water-based head cement and get some of that head cement in the base of the fibers right where the head and the wing meet. You get it soaked into the, uh, the hairs of the, the wing and it'll help to hold it in place. But, you know, this is still going to be a relatively durable fly, just the way it is. Very, very simple. Now, let's talk about this fly for a second, about what we can do with it. Um, we could use white thread and a pearlescent body. 
that will give us that translucent look. We could, as I say, I'm going to put some per, um, olive calftail on this to give me a, a little bit of a flavor for the, the local bait fish I see uh, on the Grand. They're, it's, they're this size. Uh, they'll be a perfect match for that, um, that particular species of bait fish. Uh, I mean, you can mess around with the wings. This basic, very basic pattern, you can play games with and make it look any way you like. I mean, you could turn this into a steelhead fly by using squirrel that has dyed ends, dyed yellow, dyed orange. Lots of different things you can do with this simple basic pattern. So there you go, the gray mouse. Give it a try. I know this thing will catch fish. Cheers.